Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to how the immune system actually works. And this was a suggestion from my Patreon. And yeah, I mean, I don't really know much about it. Obviously, the immune system is what, can, it's what fights off sicknesses and keeps you healthy and stuff. But it can also get stronger and all this sort of stuff. But I feel like I've got quite a weak immune system. But I've not, I've not really been sick recently. I've just, I had long COVID, I'm pretty sure, twice in a row. And that was pretty rough. And I'm still kind of feeling the effects of it. But I am pretty much better now to be honest. But yeah I don't know necessarily the details about it. I just know it is what keeps you healthy. And it can be stronger. It can get weaker depending on situations and circumstances. Like I think when you've just been sick. Your immune system's stronger. So it's very unlikely to get sick again. Or the same sort of sickness again. But we're going to see. And yeah I've not reacted to Kurzegat. Or however you say it for absolutely ages. So it's going to be fun getting back into it but let's jump into this and see how it actually works the human immune system is the most complex biological system we know after the human brain and yet most of us never learn how it works or what it is your immune system consists of hundreds of tiny and two large organs it has its own transport network spread throughout your body every day it makes hundreds of billions of fresh cells organized like an army with soldiers, captains, intelligence officers, heavy weapons, and crazy suicide bombers. <laughs> it's not some Jeez. sort of abstract entity. Your immune system is you. Your biology protecting you from the billions of microorganisms that want to consume you and from your own perverted cells that turn into cancer. It's so manifold that it's impossible to cover in one video, so we'll make a series looking at different aspects of it. Today, what happens when your body is invaded and your first lines of defenses are engaged in a fight for life and death? It's been a normal day when suddenly the world explodes and an asteroid rips the sky open. <laughs> Countless alien life forms invade ready oh. to destroy cities and infrastructure and eat civilians or this is what your cells experience you look at your bleeding thumb that you just cut on a dirty twig in the park how annoying but inside the wound a horrible catastrophe has happened there are dead cells and blood and dirt everywhere even worse countless bacteria invade the warm caverns between your helpless cells to explore their new home steal your resources and poop everywhere immediately the first stage of your defense kicks in the cells that survived the impact or are hurt or dying scream in panic releasing an onslaught of chemical alarm signals that awaken your immune system the first cells to show up are macrophages if an average cell with the size of a human a macrophage would be the size of a black rhino a Big stoic sense. cell in principle but you wouldn't want to annoy it bacteria do annoy them within seconds the large cells attack and begin killing them without mercy they stretch out oh. parts like the arms of an octopus and grab the bacteria to swallow them whole and digest them alive a macrophage can eat 100 bacteria before it's exhausted but there are too many enemies, so the macrophages call for reinforcements. In your blood, hundreds of thousands of neutrophils pick up their signals and move to the battlefield. Neutrophils are intense suicide warriors that only live to kill. They're so enthusiastic about killing that they kill themselves a few days after birth so they don't have time to accidentally destroy your body from the inside. That is so weird, what? As soon as neutrophils arrive, they begin vomiting deadly chemicals at bacteria or devour them. They are so careless in their attacks that they are causing real damage to your own cells. But collateral damage is not their concern now. Or ever. Some neutrophils go so far to push their suicide button and explode, casting wide and toxic nets made from their own DNA filled with deadly chemicals that trap and kill bacteria. Oh, well. Sometimes they can continue fighting after that, even though they're sort of dead already. This is how much fun they have killing. <laughs> While the battle rages, your blood vessels let fluid stream into the battlefield like a dam opening up towards a valley. 
You notice this as inflammation. Your thumb swells up a little and gets red and warm. The fluid brings a silent killer into the battle zone, millions of complement proteins, a sort of automated liquid weapon that stuns and kills bacteria by ripping holes into them. We made a whole video explaining them in detail. We're reaching a crossroad now. If things go well, your first line of defense kills the invaders quickly. But sometimes, the enemies are too strong and would overwhelm your defenses eventually, which means certain death for you, the human. This is the hour of the dendritic cell, your immune system's intelligence officer. While your soldiers were bashing in heads, it was collecting samples by ripping bacteria into tiny parts and covering itself in it like a soldier decorating itself in the guts of a dead enemy. The cell leaves the battlefield and enters the superhighway of your immune system that connects all your tissues with your immune headquarters, your lymph nodes. The dendritic cell coming from the battlefield is looking for a helper T cell, which is a sort of all-purpose commander cell within your immune army. But not any helper T cell, one that happens to have just the right weapon for the bacteria that infected your wound. So it goes around and rubs itself, still covered in bacteria parts, against every helper T-cell it meets. Most T-cells are a bit disgusted and not interested. But after a few hours, something clicks. A helper T-cell recognizes the bacteria parts. This cell is the weapon that's needed right now. The dendritic cell is overjoyed and activates the helper T-cell. Okay, wait. How come your immune system has a cell that has a weapon against the specific bacteria that infected you. Well, your immune system has a perfect weapon against every possible disease in the universe. What? Bro, how is this helping? This is all just in our bodies. We just, that is so crazy. Against the Black Death, the coronavirus, or an infection that will emerge in 100 years on Mars. What? We'll talk about this a bit more in the next video because it's very complex. So for now, just know that you have billions of unique helper T-cells that each have weapons against every possible enemy. After the right T-cell is activated, your second line of defense awakes and rises like a teenager that needs to get up on a school day, very slowly. Your heavy weapons are incredibly effective but they're not fast. The activated helper T-cell begins to clone itself over and over again. One becomes two, two become four, Whoa. until there are thousands of them. Now they split into two groups. The first group quickly moves to help out your soldiers. At the battlefield, things are getting out of hand. A tired macrophage is ready to give up. After fighting for days, it just wants to go to sleep, like many of its buddies have done already. But now the helper T-cells arrive. One of them comes to the tired macrophage and whispers something using special chemical signals. In a heartbeat, the demoralized soldier feels fresh again. But there's something else, a hot, white anger. The macrophage knows what it needs to do, kill. Invigorated, it throws itself against the enemies once again. All over the battlefield, this begins to happen. Meanwhile, the second group of helper T cells was working on activating another line of defense, B cells, your antibody factories. Antibodies are protein superweapons that look like tiny crabs with two pincers to grab enemies. Just Can't antibodies like go against your own body? Obviously that's when things go wrong. Antibodies going against the immune system. That happens quite a lot, right? When you have an autoimmune disorder, your immune system does not distinguish between healthy... Oh. And can that lead to like... Wait, when the body senses danger from a virus infection, the immune system kicks into gear and attacks it. Oh, okay, there we go. I've heard about that sort of stuff. Just like the helper T cells, there are B cells in your body that are able to make just the right antibodies for every possible enemy. Damn. And the helper T cell is looking for exactly these B cells. After a day or two, the right B cell is found and begins to clone itself. As soon as enough clones have been made, each B cell begins pumping out up to 2,000 antibodies per second. 
Jeez. About a week after you injured yourself and bacteria invaded, your second line of defense finally arrives in full force. The tiny army begins to saturate the battlefield, pinching and stunning desperate bacteria. The antibodies clump them together and make them unable to move or fight, while your soldiers massacre the defenseless victims. The tide is turning fast. As the last enemies are cleaned up, your soldiers realize they are no longer needed and begin to kill themselves to save resources. But not all of them. A few helper T cells remain and turn into memory cells. They will guard the tissue for years, making sure the same bacteria will never again gain a foothold here. What the hell? Similarly, a few B cells will stay alive and keep producing a low amount of antibodies, making you immune against this bacteria, maybe for the rest of your life. One day you wake up and notice that the wound has grown over and left nothing but a faint red mark. You were completely unaware of the drama your cells had to deal with. For you, the whole ordeal was a slight annoyance, while for millions of cells, it was a desperate fight for life and death. Jeez. But this is just the beginning of the epic story that unfolds inside you every day and is told in full in Immune, a journey into the mysterious... Book. Fair enough. Wow. Well, I mean... It's now making me think the next time I get a cut, I could die. <laughs> Which, obviously, it's possible. You've seen cases of people cutting themselves and stuff and things like that happening. But, damn, the body is crazy, man. It's so fascinating to see the stuff that goes on. If you're feeling lonely, remember your immune system is fighting for you. Me gets a tiny paper cut. My immune system fight for the homeland. <laughs> the human immune system is the most com complex biological system we know after the human brain. Is a classic example of the human brain humble bragging about the human brain um yeah this was uh interesting watch into how this works because to be honest i learned about this stuff in school a little bit here and there but to be honest i didn't remember it and seeing this kind of stuff does make you realize how great the human body really is but um yeah thanks for the suggestion of this reaction and of, of this video and yeah let me know some more you want me to see obviously if you're suggesting it i'll probably won't be able to react to the suggestions until i'm back but yeah, get suggesting in on more things, maybe more from this channel or whatever you want to see. And yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.